Good morning from the Caribbean coast of Colombia. We are now actually in probably our favorite place that we've been to in all of Colombia. We are by the beach on the Caribbean and this place is absolutely stunning. Look at the water. In this video, we're gonna show you why you should visit this beautiful town. It is honestly very different from the rest of Colombia. How was that little swim in the ocean? It was so nice and refreshing. Right now, it is only 10 a.m. so it's not that busy on the beach, but we'll bring you down here for sunset because honestly, the vibes are so nice. It is such a good atmosphere. It is also the Easter holiday, so there's a bit more people in the town at the moment because usually it's more of a sleepy backpacker town, but there's lo loads of locals in and it's good vibe. So right now, it's actually dry season here. So the waves aren't too crazy. In wet season, the waves get a lot bigger and that's when it's really hard to swim in the sea because you get a lot of rip currents and stuff. But right now, the conditions in March are perfect. We're gonna quickly pop back to where we're staying, show you around there, and then we're gonna do one of the most popular activities here in Palmino. So this is our room. This is only costing us 35 USD a night. And honestly, it is not too bad. And the really good thing about this place is it actually has a really fast Wi-Fi. And as people online, that's something we really crave. And this Palomino is not really the best spot if you want really good Wi-Fi, but this place has it. Anyway, we've also got AC and we actually get free breakfast every single day. And it's not just one of those cheap free breakfasts just to say they've got free breakfast. It's actually really filling and really good. We are about to go tubing. We're just sun creaming up because we did get a little bit burnt yesterday when we were on the beach. I think our drivers are here now because we actually have to get motorbikes to get to the start of the river. It is only 11 a.m. and apparently it's best to do it in the morning because otherwise the river gets a bit colder because it comes from the mountains and stuff. We haven't got any drinks or anything, so hopefully we don't get thirsty or hungry. I don't even know how long it lasts. <laughs> That was a very bumpy journey on the bike, only about 15 minutes though. Now we're walking to the part of the river where I think we jump on and shoot. So we're going to level two and I think it's about a 40 minute walk through this jungle till we get to the point where we actually get in. So we've got a little hike before we earn the relaxing tube down the river. I tell you what, it's actually quite a hard walk. You've got to go uphill, all around the mountains. It's not like an easy 40 minute stroll. Jeez, I'm not sure I signed up to this jungle hike in Birkenstocks really, did you? Yeah. It's pretty hard going. <laughs> I signed up for a relaxing tubing session. And meanwhile, we're in a 40 minute hike through the jungle, sweating myself to death. So at this time of the year, it is very dry here. It is obviously dry season as it's very dusty, even here in the rainforest. But that also means that the river level is a lot lower. So I've heard some mixed things about this at this time of the year, but let's see what it's gonna be like. We're so high up, we've got a viewpoint now. Down there is the town of Palomino. Pretty nice. Okay, we've started heading down. So maybe we just have to climb that mountain to get to the start point. We have arrived at the river. It's cold. <laughs> it's not that bad, really. We have just got on to the beautiful river Palomino, and I think just ahead, we have our first rapids. I think we're gonna get stuck in some bamboo Whee! in a second. Oh Whee! dear. Oh, oh no, going into the bush. No! <laughs> oh, blind. Are we going down the rapids? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, these really are some rapids. This is awesome. Yeah, there's yeah, monkeys. <gasps> and brown one. Guys, we just saw our first South American monkey. I have no idea what kind of monkey that is, but it was like a ginger color. Maybe we'll look it up later. I felt like I'm about to eat your toes very much in my face right now. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> our guide just said we had an hour and 20 left to go. So still more relaxing time. Oh, jeez. This bit's so fast. We're heading for that rock. What? Amelia, 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 careful. Put your feet out. Whoa, how did we miss it? Do you want a pan of chocolate? Yes, please. <laughs> this might be the most random place I've eaten a pan of chocolate. Ah, oh, look at that. Only 5,000 Colombian pesos. Pretty good. What a scenic place to eat a pan of chocolate. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Pretty good. 
<laughs> this is what I have to see the whole time we are tubing. I just have Joel's lovely feet in my face. Ah! Ah, I don't like feet. <laughs> right, guys, we're just going to pull in here and go for a little swim, I think, because this river looks delightful to swim in. You ready? Yeah, I just can't stop. I've just got rocks oh, on my bum. Yep, yeah, it's not that. Yeah, it's not deep. deep. <laughs> I think over here there, you can actually get a rope swing and jump in the river. Sick! <laughs> We're so doing that. I need that. Oh wow. <laughs> Joel is going to go over and try the rope swing. I'm going to try and film him. For the last half an hour, we've just been floating downstream. We are so relaxed now. We've just seen loads of local kids like jumping in. It seems this is a bit of a local hotspot, but I think we are nearing the beach now. How you doing? I am so chilled out. You look very chilled. Yeah, apart from that pan of chocolat, I'm a little bit hungry. So I'm in for a lunch, but this is delightful. It's lovely. You don't really need a drink. No. Amelia's cooling down because she's getting a little hot in the sun. Shall I dunk my face? Yes, dunk it. <laughs> we are approaching the beach. I can see some little beach shacks coming up. I think we're going to see the, the fresh water blend with the salt water soon. I think this is the end of where we're going to get out. I don't know where our guide is. I think he must have got caught somewhere. But the whole journey was about two and a half hours, give or take, depending on the strength of of the river and how obviously how much it flows but pretty good experience and i would highly recommend it is so chilled out it really fits the vibe of palomino oh finito we've washed off from the tubing and we're going to head down to the beach because that is where the vibes are at sunset there we go sir here we go we are just walking down the main street through palomino and honestly it is so cool just dusty dry streets obviously because it's dry season but it is such a beautiful chilled out town as you'll see there are so many street sellers here selling like homemade necklaces shoes all that kind of stuff as it is so dry one of the things they do is actually water the road so that the dust doesn't come up from the cars which is actually really nice because otherwise you just get a face full of the dust and here we are through to the beach once again for sunset the vibes here on a Tuesday evening are incredible. It is the Easter holidays, I think, at the moment, which is why Palomino is actually a lot busier than usual. The sun's going down in the next half an hour. It is a beautiful part of the country and it is so relaxing here. We've just been watching the sunset, but this beach is so big that you can really spread out from everyone. And there's so many little like beach bars and restaurants. There's such like an atmosphere, as Joel said. And if you're looking for more of like a chilled vibe, maybe you've been backpacking hardcore around Colombia, maybe through Central America. And this place, this town is gonna be a really nice place for you just to chill out for a few days, eat some good food, sit on the beach, go for a little swim. It also feels super safe. Like you don't really have to worry about your stuff on the beach. You don't have to worry about having a phone out compared to like the rest of Colombia. Here we felt so safe. Yeah, this is definitely the safest place we've been in the whole country because you can literally walk around with phone cameras and no one's going to butt an eyelid. Everyone's very chilled. You don't have to worry about not going out at night. We've just come into this restaurant. I actually have no idea what it's called because we had a couple of mojitos on the beach and we just walked in here because it had a toilet, to be honest. But it does look very good. They have a proper pizza oven and live music. What could be better? We have just got our pizzas straight out of the oven. They're so hot. I've actually got a vegan pizza. I know it doesn't look very interesting. It's just vegetables and no cheese, but that's the way I like it, okay? But Joel has got a pepperoni and the dough looks so good. So here we go, we have this pepperoni pizza in the beautiful town of Palomino. Let's give it a taste. And again, we have no idea what this restaurant is called. Mmm, that's good. We've actually been eating at a couple of other restaurants whilst being here, and I highly recommend them. I'll just put them down here, and they are a little bit cheaper than this one. So a bit more on the budget, or you eat like vegan restaurants, then choose one of these. 
So guys, that is the end of this beautiful day in Palomino. And honestly, I would highly recommend coming to this spot. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to go down there and hit subscribe. And we will see you in the next video. See you in the next one. Bye.